All right, we have this table. It says that it summarizes the results from 911 pedestrian deaths that were caused by accidents if one of the pedestrians is randomly selected. Find the probability that the pedestrian was intoxicated or the driver was intoxicated. So the big key to big key to remember is the word or means to add. Now the only problem you can't just add these probabilities. You can't just say the probability that a pedestrian's intoxicated plus the probability a driver is intoxicated. You can't just add those alone and you'll see why. So the probability a pedestrian is intoxicated is going to be 54 plus 264, right? Because that's that column is all the pedestrians that are intoxicated and the probability out of the total. And then the driver intoxicated is 54 plus 60 over the total. Did you notice something that happened? I circled 54 twice. And this is why they always say if, if these events are not independent, okay, meaning that they're, nothing's related, but they are in this case, in this table, you have to subtract out the intersection, which is the 54, because that's what got double counted, all right? And so now you just stick all this in your calculator, and I got 0 0.415 for the probability. So you have to be careful with something like this. Um, typically, you always write this, I'm going to just say pedestrian, intersect, driver. You typically always write that piece. It could be zero, but in this case, it wasn't. So it reminds you that you definitely need to subtract that piece out. And again, it's easy to see with the table, right? Because it got counted twice.